Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. Welcome to the desk over dreams or nightmares, depending on your perspective. It's covered in all my bits and bobs I've been using. So today it's an M Scrapbusters challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper. And it's these cute little collaged corner tucks, yeah? We get to use up some icky papers we might never have used again and lots and lots of scraps and bits and bobs. So if you want to take part, all the links you'll need are in the description box below. And yeah, let's crack on. So here we go. This is what I've used for the base. I've used some 8x8 eight eight papers in a design I'm never going to use again. So I want to cover them up. They are single sided, which is perfect. So we can journal on that side. So we start off by folding that diagonally. So I cut my 8x8 papers in half and half again. So I ended up with four pieces that then measured four inch by four inch, yeah? So that's one. You can decide which corner you're gonna pop it on. The inside, I've just grunged it up a little bit with my inky brush. Can you see the difference? Yeah, because that fits my style better. It's just one of these, it's the inky makeup brushes, which I love using. I'm not very precise with this. If you're more organised than me, you could run your papers through your printer and print anything on the back. Uh, you, you can get lots of digitals with coffee dye and all sorts on. It's whatever you prefer. I'll just give the edge a little bit of a going over. There we go. So I've got two there ready to decorate. So I'm just going to use scrappy scraps. I think I need that one bone folding. Ooh, I found my actual bone bone folder. Yeah, it's made of bone. Don't know what kind of bone. Don't want to know what kind of bone. <laughs> uh, so, scraps away. I'm not inking my individual scraps. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I've been raiding my Your Creative Studio boxes for some leftover bits and bobs. I've got my trusty box of collage bits that has been shook up a little bit because my daughter were doing some collage last night, my youngest, Rachel, and she's never collaged before. But she decided to collage a school book and it looks amazing. I should have grabbed it to let you have a squint. And do you know, it was proof that the best way to collage is to do it without thinking. Because the first time she's ever collaged before, weren't really. Yeah. Yeah, weren't really thinking much about what she did. She just got on with it. No inhibitions, no overthinking. And it looked amazing. I'm like, wow. We could all take a lesson from her. Learn a lesson, should I say. I can go on to another bit of book page. Whee. I don't I feel like I've not collaged in forever. That's probably not true. <laughs> I don't know. I've still got to have my writing going horizontal and vertical though. I, I just think I might have a nervous breakdown if I let it be totally wonky. Oh, I think that's stick paper actually. I'll save that for last. And yeah, I'm going to put some of this flowery paper on me think. I'm hoping I don't stick the old thing to my glue book. I ought to have got some uh, label backing out for this, actually. Where's that going to go? I think I'm going to break it up. So I'm letting it overlap all over the crease. That's not really bothering me too much that that's occurring. Because so I will cut it. I'll either fold it over or cut it flush. Right here. I need some, I should have got more pattern papers out really. Do you know, Rachel said to me last night, some of the things in your collage box are really boring, Mum. My collage looks much better than yours because it's got colour on it. I'm like, but Rachel, it depends what else you're going to put on it, doesn't it? <clears throat> I then tend to put uh, more colourful things on after the fact to embellish. She's like, yeah, she's done one collage and she's an expert. Yeah, that's my Rachel. 
<laughs> yeah, do you know what? I think she might be right. Oh, what's this? Aha! A bit of colourfulness. I think I shall rip that again. And I'm collaging far, far further out of this outline than I really ought to. But I'm trying to be random. I'm trying to be like Rachel. But I can't deal with that big white stripe. Do as Rachel does. Collage randomly. I need something there. I don't know what. I'll just put a little bit more book page on, I think. <clears throat> I only need a tiny bit because I've not quite gone up to the crease. Am I even on camera? Yeah. The collage is on camera, some of the gluing isn't. That'll do. Right, so I'm going to lift that up. It's only collage bits that are stuck. I'm going to cut them off anyway. I will get a label back in sheet for the next one. I'm going to grab my big scissors and I'm just going to cut this flush with the edge. Whee. After this one, I might just pause and go and grab some more colourful bits. Listen to Rachel for once in my life. <laughs> yeah, kids are teaching now, aren't they? Kids are teaching mums what to do. I just need a bit more glue on that piece. And that one. Do you know when I picked them up to reposition them? Reposition them. They didn't really have enough glue on. Right, I'm going to leave that one. Because I will come in and fold that again once that glue's dry. So while that's drying... I'm going to collage another one. Let's get rid of that. And that. Into the recycling box. There you go. And I'm going to grab... Oh, I've got this. Ha ha, piece of non-stick stuff. That's that property malt stuff, that. It's got a, bit of cut, a few cuts in. Yeah, me and my friend years ago wanted some, but we thought that's just far too expensive. So we bought a sheet and cut it in half and had half each. Yeah, what can you do? I can't remember the price for it, but it shocked me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with some florally bits. I think on this one I'm going to try going just up to the edge. So as you can see, this time I've done it slightly different. I've got it folded over ready to start my collaging. Yeah, I think I might end up with that one that way. The roses look less upside down. If less upside down is even a term. Well, it is now because I just used it. You can go there, mate. Yeah. Let's get you right up to the corners. Lovely. I might put a bit more here at top. I don't know yet. Grab some different paper. Ooh, ooh, like that. That's a little dictionary I got hold of. I think it's a French one, but it's that nice thick paper and not thin stuff, which is really good. Put you sideways, about there. Yeah, we'll save you. So relaxing just to collage, isn't it? Well, it is. Oh, that were two pages. So it were, it's not quite as thick as I thought it was, because that were two pages. Silly woman. That's covered all the bits I want. We like. Yeah, I'm going to use. I think this is an Artie Maze digital that's just found its way into my scrap box. I quite like it though. I want something else with um, text on there though. Yeah. Use that. Looks like some kind of maths book. I grabbed some books out of, yeah, <clears throat> shredding bin, the stuff, pulping bin, should I call it, stuff that weren't even going to be put on shelves the other week because they didn't think anyone would want them. And 
I'm like, no. They, they used to me now, just coming in and rifling through books that are on the way to be pulped. If they didn't think they're in good enough condition, plus the subject matter, and sometimes because the tatty and falling apart, but I'm like, no, I want those. They are the books for me. <laughs> gimme, gimme. I'm going to put that one on there. It's a bit like when you do the collage masterboards. Until you trim the edges down and fold it over, you're not quite sure what you're going to get. And, yeah, I'm going to put another piece of that there. Sticky, sticky. <laughs> sticky, sticky, Vicky. I don't know who sticky Vicky is. I'm just going to show up now. Yeah, you're talking absolute rubbish. There's... There's a line between waffle and rubbish, and I think I just crossed it. Went from rubbish into waffle. No, from waffle into rubbish. Do I even know? I'm really not sure. So that's that one. Let's get our first one back now. It should be a little bit drier. And let's redo that crease. Oh, I like. I really like. There we go. What occurred there? Oh, that's just a little bit that's over, overhanging. I'm going to snip it off. I thought I'd ripped the backing paper, but I hadn't. That was just hanging over. So we'll bone fold that down. I'll put a little bit of ink round edge. And that's our base done, ready to put some kind of embellishment on as a focal point or... Well, you know what I did. I still find this like time travel. Travel when I film what I've what I'm about to do after I've done it. So there we go, and that's that. Now I prefer to put something on these to keep them down. And my favourite thing is the Velcro dots. Now you don't have to do this part. This is just my preference to put the Velcro dots on. So I shall grab mine. Come here, Velcro dots. Whee. I'll show you at packet ones I buy as well. I've got these on my Amazon storefront. Sometimes you're lucky to catch them in stock. But I get these on Amazon UK, but they're sent from the US. I've got these on my US and my UK storefront. And you get 56 in. Um, the first ones that pop up when you search them in UK are a pack we about 16 in for the same price, which is absolutely crazy. So, if you, yeah, if you want some of these, just be wary of that. They're obviously going to take longer to come from US. If you've got more money than cents and <laughs> you want them quicker, yeah, get the 16 pack. More money than cents. That's one of my mum's old sayings again. She was a funny old bird. Right, so I'm just going to put my fluffy side of my Velcro dot. They're called Thin Clear Fasteners. They're very thin. And that's what I like about them. I first saw these when Izzy B of Izzy B Craft Creations used them. And I love them. So I'm just going to... So that's my... Imagine this is my journal page again. That is my corner. I've got one of my daughter's hairs, my hairs, well it was blonde, yeah, so then you fold that up and you've got your journaling spot and you can pop it back down with your velcro, I like them velcroed, so let's see if that other one's dry enough to trim, I think it should be, my desk started off quite tidy. It's just a horrendous mess already. All I've done is collage two little triangles of paper. And it's, yeah, untidy. So this one, I'm not going to fold it over. I'm just going to trim it off. Be careful you don't cut the uh, base paper. Oh, it's not going to fold very well, is it? Not really. That seems to stay more flatter when I've not collaged over. 
So I don't know if I'm going to put a Velcro dot on this yet. I can't decide. Because decisions are not my forte at the moment. I don't like making them. Right. That's two. And they're quite matchy-matchy. I think they'd be lovely in the same journal together. And now because I've put... I can cope now with text going up and down and across. Because I've put some that way and some that way, we can turn that. And I'm still happy with that. We've got some text running the correct way, some going up and down. So now you've got to decide what else you're going to put on it. And this is where you might have to decide whether it's going to go on that side or that side of a journal page. I prefer them on that side, to be quite honest. So I'm going to decorate mine as though they're going on that right-hand page. So I've grabbed some bitties and bobbies. Now I know what I want to decorate with. Oh, oh look at that. Craft. Well, I've only been on two minutes. I've got a craft land happened again. Right. So yeah, I've got some labels that came again in a Your Creative Studio box. Oh, wow. wow. Stay. And yeah, I'll grab a few of these. I might rip some more. Oh, I fancy doing a little label collage with perhaps a butterfly on or a flower or something like that. But I like these. They are stickers. So we don't we using these last night again on our collage and it just reminded me of their existence. I'm very much an out of sight, out of mind kind of person. If I don't see something for a while, I forget it exists. A bit like that with kids. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, send them off to school in the morning. Then you, yeah, you lock door. Then you hear someone knocking at tea time. You open it, you're like, who are you? Oh, you're my kids. Yeah, I forgot you existed. No, I'm not really that bad. That were absolute rubbish, what I've just said there. Right, yeah. I've got a few out now. I'm an happy bunny. So let's, let's have a look, see what's going to happen. I do like that one. I really do. Could be used as three separate ones though, couldn't it? Oh, look at, look at my scissors. <laughs> yeah, take all crud off your scissors, woman. Now I don't like how I've left that uh, border uneven all the way around. That's better, I can live with that. I just do, I like these. Whee. I think, I don't think I've ever used these before until my daughter decided to use some last night. Yeah, I like to have a rummage in my craft room. Supervised, of course. She weren't allowed here on her own. No, 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 that's not going to happen. You don't want children running wild in your craft room, do you? I suppose that would be like having a house infested by rats. <laughs> I'm not being very flattering to my kids today, am I? That one might be a bit too... That's too big. Why are you inking that? I like these with numbers. I'm thinking these could be cut and used. Yeah. Oh, I've cut two up there. Oh, they're both exactly the same. So you don't need to cut two at once, woman. So, yeah. I oh, quite like this. I didn't intend to go cutting stickers up when I got these out, but the more I snip at these, the more I want to. But I like that one as is. Let's ink that. Yeah, we like you. We like you. I think I'm going to stick that one on that says just the no. No. I know it stands for number, but I see it as no. No, it's not happening. That's that. And I feel I've not overdone it with butterflies lately, so I'm going to crack out the butterflies. I like that green one. Crack out the flutterbys. I don't even know what's in the box. Oh, I like him. He's nice. I mean, of course, we can have him overhanging a little bit. There is a risk he could get damaged. Oh, I like the black and white one. Well, I like the black and white one more than the green one on there. Right, get sticking down, woman. 
Right, these are supposed to be stickers. If I can't get back off, I'll just glue them. Because, yeah, watching me struggle with stickers for three hours is not my dark, my idea of entertainment. Whee. I'm going to say something now. That it, I'm really risking repeating myself because I can't honestly remember if I've talked about this on video or if I was just telling a friend. But it was the Eurovision Song Contest last weekend in the UK. <laughs> and... How about you people in the US? Like, what's Eurovision Song Contest? It's a song contest and all European countries compete and it's like, it's iconic. It really is iconic. And yeah, I don't have the channel that it's broadcast on here in the UK. So I went on YouTube looking to see if there were a stream of it. And no, there wasn't an official stream. So we ended up watching it on a YouTube channel. <laughs> the video was put by a bloke called Dave. And it was Dave and his uh, friend in the living room watching their big giant TV, watching Eurovision Song Contest. And so, yeah, we watch Eurovision Song Contest with Dave and his mate on YouTube, and I right enjoyed it. I like that. Um, that's done. So, yeah, I do apologise if I told that story already, but, yeah, I've got a bad memory. At first, kids were like, Mum, what are you doing? I was watching it with Becca. She got used to it. Then Rachel come down and she's like, why are you watching a man sat in his living room on telly? Like, He's watching your Eurovision Song Contest, Rachel. It's our only way to watch it. And I thank Dave. I doubt you're watching me, Dave, but if you are, thank you. Because we were watching on big telly, so we weren't in chat. I don't even know if there were a chat up. But yeah, thanks, Dave. They always say everyone should know a Dave, and I was really glad I knew that Dave on that day. Really glad. So, cheers, Dave. And if I told some real friends, they might think I'd actually gone loopy. Actually, no. They know I'm loopy. There's no, might think I've gone loopy about it. They know I'm a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. Oh, I like that. This is calling out to go in a very vintage journal, isn't it? So that might dictate what I do next. After my fairy journal, my mermaid journal, all these journals I keep saying I'm going to make and then not going round to. I'm very impulsive and spontaneous with deciding what I'm going to make me. I like those. I'm going to do another. I like that so much. I'm going to do another. In fact, I'm going to see if I can do two. Here we go. Again, together. Oh, I did. I decided to cut some paper up, slightly different size. Then I realised I couldn't get, <laughs> I couldn't get four out unless I did four before. So let's do this one. It's a bigger one. Oh, let's ink the back first. Where's your brush gone? On this disaster of a desk. Get your glue book. There we go. I tied it desk up and now it's back to chaos already. Let's dip it in ink. Works a treat. Top tip. When inking, don't forget to dip your brush in the ink. I don't know how anyone would manage to craft without my top tips. Whee. I've not already folded that, so we won't have the uh, crease inked, will we? So fold it. I think this is bigger. I think this is a 5 by 5 inch piece. Does it look bigger than others? Yeah, it does. So here's an interesting thought. What does that measure? So I start off with a 4 by 4 inch piece, and then my bottom measures... 4. <laughs> what shocker! <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh dear. Shocked. Shocked. A four by four inch piece of card. When you fold it at the crease, that four inch bit still measures four inch. I'm shocked by that. Wow. Who would have thunk it? Oh dear. I think I might have to lie down in a dark room after this. Wow. <laughs> 
it's one of them. You quite often, you don't realise you're doing something absolutely stupid until after you've done it. Yeah. Do you know, after this, I might weigh some uh, pound bags of flour, see if they weigh a pound. You never know, do you? You never know. Crazy woman. Right, that's the first bit. I'll turn that round now, seeing as I've stuck it to paper. You're going to look good there. I fancy a day of mindless crafting today, just doing what I want for no reason. I may indulge. I think because I spent all week doing that trifold journal, I've not done any other kind of crafting. It's like, I feel a bit rusty. Very strange. Do I want a bit more text? Oh, I want some of that mathematical text and I like that. Let's pop you on, mate. And then we'll fill you in with roses and squiggles. Yeah, by squiggles I mean that Artie Mays paper. Yeah, squiggles. Oh, I'm going to put you there. Yeah, you can go there. Let's have some roses. I like this rose paper. I only had one sheet of it. Let's take you off. Because I think that will fit. Yes, that will fit perfectly. And I'm liking doing my collage without inking the edges of every bit of paper I put on. I'm realising it's just, it's one of them things life's too short for. Once you ink your elements that you put on as your focal points and ink the edge when you've done it, it seems to be enough ink for me lately. And down there. Could we have a huge rosy bit? We, we could if we wanted. There's no to stop us. But it just looks, no, I don't like it. Let's have a small rosy bit there and something else at bottom. Yeah. I think that will please me more. Whee. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Oh, I can't put it that way because it's not covering all my pink. I don't want any pink showing. It'll clash with this. And I'll grab something, something, what? Where's the squiggly stuff? Oh, that's a different colour. I'll just do it. You're going to cover some of it up anyway with your focal point, woman, so... Don't stress. Collage like Rachel did last night with Wild Abandon. Not worrying about it. And when it were done, it looked fab. Right, so we'll peel that up. And I'll trim my edges. Totally forgot to use my non-stick mat there, didn't I? Have tools, forget to use them. I think that just proves that sometimes you don't need all fancy tools. We still love buying them. I am a self-confessed craft hoarder. Sometimes it's just nice to have the stuff and look at it, touch it, stroke it, feel it, or even smell it. Use it? Why would we want to use it? It's just here to look at. Whee. Although I am trying to buy less, use more of what I already have. And trim that one. I go right quiet when I'm concentrating to our donor. You should see it room, it's full of smoke. Full of smoke from all that thinking going off. Yeah, I quite like that. I might have that one that way. Oh, I've put all text the same way on this one. That was just a mistake. I didn't intend to do that. So, do you know what? I'm going to have it on the left-hand side again. What am I, if not predictable? I could always make some more while uh, the video's uploading that face the other way. With the same papers in exactly the same way. Well, I'm going to do two away, but now I'm doing one. Do I even know what I'm doing? That is often debatable. 
oh we can put a bigger butterfly on this because it's bigger so we used a black one and a yellowy one what am i going to use on this one oh that's too big far too big what about him no don't like him oh i like these cabbage whites it's going to be the cabbage whites i've no idea if it's cabbage white i call every white butterfly a cabbage white and if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. We where's my ink? Let's have this back. And you can do your gluing on. Oh, it's a sticker. It's a sticker. I nearly forgot it was a sticker. Yeah, I'm going to pop that there. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's a Disneyland ticket. Disneyland. It's not a real Disneyland ticket, obviously. Let's ink the cabbage white up. And we'll put you there because we like you there. You're a sticker. I really do have to keep reminding myself that these are stickers. So put you there. And what we're going to have down to the end. Let's have a look what else is in box. Fancy something else here, but I don't know what. Don't want the numbers. You're a bit beige. Um, I think I might do part of that sticker, actually. Oh, what is this? This. I want one of these. Yeah. I'm going to cut that. Make it look how I want. Ink it up and remember it's a sticker. I mean, you can go to town with these. Decorate them how you want. I just fancy doing a bit of collage. Collage. Use a bit of scraps. Use up some stuff I've not used for a while. Oh, that's it. You are perfect now, little Mr. Butterfly. We'll glue you on. And I think that'll do us. Me likes. Let's have you a bit straighter, not too straight. Well, we've got a little bit of your wing overlapping, but I think we can live with that. Let's just ink the edge of this, because I've just realised I haven't done it. Yeah, I'm not going to put a Velcro dot on these two. I think they, these will stay down fine. It was the one where I carried my collage over there. It's like it didn't want to sit flat enough, and I felt I needed my Velcro dot on. But it's up to you, your choice. If you want a velcro, when it's sitting, been sitting in a book for a while as well, it should lay flatter. Right, so there we have it. Corner, collaged corner tucks to use up a few scraps. And I went all butterfly-fied again, butterfly-fied. Wow, I need to write my own dictionary, don't I? Right, I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.